look, it's it's interesting. I mean, Munich's a very specific thing because um, it's not even that old an orchestra. It was founded after the Second World War, and they have always been involved in the new as well. They have, they've had forever a very famous series called Musica Viva, where you know, even the young Pierre Boulez cut his teeth. But this is something they do really also as part of their life. And so actually, they're very expert. Now, with this also a very curious group, the orchestra, I always adored from the time when I saw them in Liverpool with Raphael Kublik when I was 16. Uh, and I had never seen this kind of level of contact between a conductor and an orchestra and this type of communication. And in some ways it changed my life. Uh, when I first went to conduct the orchestra, I told them this story. And on the front desk was a violinist who was about to retire. I said, yes, I was playing in that concert. I just joined the orchestra. I was at the back of the seconds. Uh, and, and, yeah, and we remember it. Uh, and so, although I always loved them, it never occurred to me that um, I might be running them, and particularly since my dear and much missed friend, Maris Janssens, was the conductor there. And I'd always presumed we'd have many more decades of Maris, not realizing quite how ill he was and quite what a miracle it was that he was still conducting at all. Um, it will be a fascinating, different type of challenge. Of course, the, I mean, the orchestras in Germany are supported by, by the state in a way that we could, couldn't even imagine here. Uh, I mean, and, you know, this is sad, but it is true. And there is, which gives, of course, the possibility of doing so many things. Um, and, I mean, similarly to London, actually, Munich has its own problems with concert halls um, and dealing um, and dealing with that. But there is an enormous sense of an artistic community. There's a vast amount going on in what is not a huge city and a huge audience and a very curious and knowledgeable audience. But we, are, we will be able to build within the orchestra the, the first period instrument orchestra which will belong to a major symphony orchestra. And this we are starting on now with gradually putting everything together. Uh, and it's the kind of place where you can do both ancient music and music written yesterday, as well as their extraordinary tradition of playing the big classical and romantic giants. So I'm looking forward to it enormously. <laughs>